up guys and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be installing the wild boar rear rack on the renegade the wife got it for me for my birthday shouts out to my wife ashley for getting me that i know she looked into some other brands don't want to name drop but she looked into some other brands they weren't going to make it in time before my birthday i also informed her some of these other brands which i won't name also have a uh, track record of from what i can see order and then a couple months go by and then you you get your stuff now that might have changed since i last looked at these posts a couple months ago but every time i see their name pop up i always hear uh well i ordered and now it's you know eight weeks later and it finally got to my doorstep so like i explained to my wife the wild boar was exactly what i was wanting that was probably my first choice of ordering a rear rack it looks like it's well made also the price point to me around that 200 dollar mark is perfect i feel like a little bit more you know when you start digging into that four or five six hundred dollar range for a rear rack that's literally going to get covered by a cooler and some other storage components it, to me it's just really not worth it i think the wild boar looks perfect i like the way it looks and also styled some of your recommendations i'm looking at possibly getting like a 20 or a 25 quart pelican or a small or even around that size yeti my wife currently has the 35 uh, quart yeti on her outlander i'm looking for something a little bit more smaller because usually when if we're out riding together she's with me so the 35 quart is more than enough for our needs the rear rack for me is more so when i go out of town that i can put a, a cooler on back of my four-wheeler also that'll allow me to strap all of my pelican cases on there for all the electronics i need to carry around we're going to go ahead and install this wild boar rear rack on the renegade shout out to the wife again thanks for the birthday gifts it was greatly appreciated so without further ado let's go ahead and install this wild boar rear rack on the renegade let's go made out like a bandit you know what I'm saying so now I got my fan my brother-in-law was here well he's still here and he was like man you need a fan out here my son's like man you need a fan out here the whole my whole birthday week my wife's like you want your birthday gift before uh, your birthday my birthday was Sunday my wife was like hey do you want your birthday gift before your birthday I said nah because I was thinking she got me a drone a DJI. So I was like, ah, oh, nah, I don't, I don't need that drone footage right now, honey. I'm good. And it was a fan in a rag, you know. But I'm completely happy with what I got. I would have been happy with one fan because I needed it. So, you know, no, no, not to my wife for uh, the birthday gift. Yes, that was, that was a really good birthday, man. One of the things about my wife, man, she goes all out for birthdays, and it sucks because. I'm not a big birthday or Christmas person, so it's always like I always drop the ball on her birthday, which, you know, I'm sure she feels uh, great about. I'm sure she's like, I have a great husband, always drops the ball. You guys are still here? If you're still here, hit that subscribe button for your boy. She's been talking noise to me a couple times about this. And so one way I've learned no matter who's talking crap, it's just to record it, and then they can't talk crap no more. So here's the set, look. Everything nice in its place. So, we don't have, yeah, bump that, but, and even this layer. See, Ash, everything nice. My bro said he won't come over and help me install anything. My tools aren't nice like this, so we gotta keep them nice. So, anyway guys, with this rear rack, 
I'm a, there's no no hardware was included in this rear rack. So I'm assuming we uh, reuse this hardware. So let's go ahead and pull these out. And then we're gonna grab the rear rack and put this on. And I'm look, it's looking like it probably should bolt up. So let's go ahead and get these yanked out real quick, put this rack on and use this and bolt it back. One thing that's interesting about me, one thing I've learned is I'll get something new and I'll put it aside. I don't, I, I'm, I got it now. I'm happy I got it. I don't use it right away. I'll let it sit there and like kind of like simmer, I guess, for whatever reason makes no sense. But my wife, with my wife, if she gets me something brand new, even though it's exactly what I wanted, usually she wants to see me using it within like the first two hours. But I'm the type of person like, okay, now that I got that thing, whatever it is, like the fans, or the tools, I'll still use my old fan or my own old tools before I use the new stuff that she got me. There goes my cat. But anyhow, I don't know if any of you guys are like that. Like you get something new and she's like, eh, now nah, I'm gonna keep using my old stuff even though the new stuff's better than the old stuff. Or even though you needed it, you still don't use it unless you really have to. So I'm trying to do better. I start using my tool set the, the next day. I've been using this, I use my fan. I'm using my fan right now. Hopefully it's not too loud. And uh, I'm gonna put the rear rack on. And so, and I got it a couple days ago. So I'm making steps. So let's go ahead, pull these out, put this rear rack on, get this video done, and then see what she looks like. So it is a T30, like I said. I'm making things hard on myself. So. Theoretically, it bolts right up. Look at that. So this looks like a very simple install guys, undo the four screws that are provided with some Can-Am. You guys are still here? If you're still here, hit that subscribe button for your boy. So that is it. She's installed, she's not going nowhere. Take your excess parts, throw those somewhere. Now let's cut to the B-roll, let's go! That's just another day hanging out with your boy PA. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.